joining us now live now. And uh, Jeff, as I understand it, they'll pick that game up tomorrow. Yeah, all the drama that was yeah. going on down at the ballpark tonight, they will stop. They will resume tomorrow, and they really need these wins yeah. as they are fighting for the playoffs. Phillies have the easiest schedule in baseball down the stretch. Of course, it is easier said than done. We know just how painful it is at times watching the Phils as they look to make the playoffs. Philly strike first against the Marlins tonight in the first. How about Reese Hoskins? Two out RBI double. Bryce Harper scores all the way from first. Hoskins the only player in the league with at least 20 doubles and 20 homers. Up to nothing, plenty for Vince Velasquez. Coming off two brutal starts. He's sharp, five innings, no runs, one hit. But in the ninth, Ranger Suarez in for the save. Oh no! Jesus Aguilar, two run shot, ties it at two, their 23rd blown save. Ay, 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 most in baseball. And when it rains and pours, their second rain delay tonight. They're eventually suspended until tomorrow at 105. They'll pick it up, tied at two in the top of the 10. All right, the Flyers score one of the top defensemen in the NHL. In a surprising trade today, the Flyers sending former second overall pick, Nolan Patrick, plus Phil Myers to Nashville for defenseman. Ryan Ellis. Patrick then immediately flipped and traded from Nashville to Las Vegas. Drafted second overall. Just four years ago, Patrick did not live up to the hype. Of course, his young career derailed by that migraine disorder, causing him to miss the entire 2019-2020 season. General Manager Chuck Fletcher tells me this isn't about giving up on Patrick. It's about making the Flyers better. And Ryan Ellis makes their D much, much better. He's a 30-year-old veteran one of the best in the NHL, who's expected to be paired with Ivan Provorov. This should help Carter Hart. Flyers goalies had the worst save percentage in all of hockey last year. We acquired uh, one of the premier defensemen in the National Hockey League and a player that we feel, uh, you know, fits, fits the needs of our team quite well. And, and, and in terms of his overall two-way game, his ability to move the puck and which is an area I thought we struggled in a lot last year. Overall, um, just uh, surprised, shocked, and at the same time excited uh, at a new challenge and a new chapter. It has been home sweet home in the NBA Finals until tonight. Milwaukee and Phoenix had each won their home games, but Game 5 goes down a much different road. Wild finishing Game 5, Suns down 1. They can take the lead here on Milwaukee. 16 seconds to go. Devin Booker. Stripped by former Sixer Drew Holiday. Other way, Holiday to Giannis. On to Decumpo. Wow. And the foul. Milwaukee staring down. As they win 123-119, they take a 3-2 series lead. They're a win away from their first title in 50 years. Game 6, Tuesday at 9, here on 6ABC. Bucks can win the NBA Finals. Union at home tonight against their rivals, D.C. United, and they get off on the right foot. 11th minute, we pick it up. Great passing here. How about Sergio Santos? He scores. Union take a 1-0 lead, and Santos takes it into the stands. Well, the sons of Ben will love this. Pick it up tied at 1, 83rd minute. Santos, great footwork here to Casper Shabilko. Bam! Union win 2-1. Following a near two-hour rain delay, it is their first win in almost a month. Finally, swinging over to golf across the pond, third round of the Open. In England, here's Louis Ustazen for birdie on nine. Get in the hole. Drains it. He's 12 under with a one-shot lead on Colin Morikawa heading into the final round. We'll have some drama in that event and, of course, back over to the Phillies as they pick up that game from tonight. Okay, you'll be busy tomorrow. Jeff, thank you. All right.